So I wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about what I'm learning the first week on Weight Watchers. So um, Weight Watchers is something that I have been a part of a couple different times in the past. Most recently, I joined <laughs> this past Wednesday again. Um, kind of in addition to working with my physical trainer. I work with a physical trainer um, with Panacea Fit. It's an amazing program. I really like the workouts and like knowing what I'm going to do when I get to the gym and any questions that I have, like I can literally ask any time. They call it like personal trainer in your pocket, which I really love. But um, I was struggling a little bit with like calories, diet, um, the scale, being like obsessive. So I decided to return to Weight Watchers actually after a recommendation from my younger brother. So my younger brother and I are really close um, and he has actually lost a, a two separate times in the past, like over 50 pounds. So like the highest he ever went down, I think it was like 88 pounds. And um, one time he did it really unhealthy. <laughs> the other time he did a lot of work on Weight Watchers. And so he also just joined Weight Watchers again him and his wife, um, she's trying to lose, like, baby weight, he's trying to lose, like, co-baby weight that you also gain when your wife is pregnant, and he was telling me, like, yeah, like, he's down, like, almost 15 pounds now, so I was like, okay, maybe, like, this is something that I should give another try to. So, last Wednesday, I joined Weight Watchers again, and what I learned so far, it's just Monday, it's just the next following Monday, but I'm realizing, like, the different values of food so like what's amazing about Weight Watchers is that they have this new thing called Weight Watchers Freestyle and with Weight Watchers Freestyle like there's all these different zero point foods like there's like I printed out the list there's like a list of like almost 70 something to like 100 zero point foods actually I think there's 200 but the list that I printed in particular all fit on one page so it's like probably like 100 things on there and it includes yes like you always know with Weight Watchers like fruits and vegetables have been free for a really long time but it also includes like really healthy foods um that keep you full for longer such as like chicken breast high protein stuff tofu beans are zero points unroasted veggies are zero points so like it's all this different stuff um but what I want to point out is that Weight Watchers is really showing me the value of the calories that I am eating. So all calories are not equal is what I'm learning in this weight loss journey. Like, I know that there's a lot of people out there who will, like, argue with that. But something that I'm personally learning and personally experiencing and personally finding to be true is that all calories are not created equal. Um, so, for example... If I eat 200 calories worth of chicken breast versus 200 calories worth of Kit Kats, yes, at the end of the week, you can still be in a deficit or a surplus with whatever things you're aiming for. However, like throughout the day, how you feel after you eat those things is very different. Um, so I was getting very caught up when I was just looking at calories on literally just looking at the calories like, oh, it's the end of the day and I have 300 calories left let me eat Havarti cheese until I fall asleep. Oh, it's the end of the week and I have 600 calories left. If I go a little bit over, then I can go out and like have three beers because that's only 170 calories each. But what I was finding is like, I just keep like fluctuating between the same weight, which like positive in that is like, okay, good, I'm not gaining weight. But at the same time, I'm not losing weight. And if I'm on this thing to like lose weight or really lose fat, um, then am I really accomplishing my goal if all I'm doing is going up and down, up and down, up and down? Um, I am accomplishing part of my goal. So part of my goal is to build a gym habit, um, to be comfortable in there, to be excited to go, to like know what I'm doing, see your body changing in all these different ways, which that is something that I am excited about and something that is happening. However, on the other side, with the fat loss, with the like being in control of all like the foods that I eat that's not really there yet and so I'm really hoping and looking forward to Weight Watchers helping me out with this continuing to be like that force it's like telling me it's something at 11 points something else that's the same calories is three points I'm gonna go for the three point thing because of the way that it's gonna make me feel um and so you can like you you know I've, I've read about this too um I've talked with my trainer about this as well like GI levels and all this different stuff but like I guess it didn't really like hit you you know how they say you can hear a bunch of information a couple different times and it's just that one story that hits you or that one opportunity that hits you or that one instance that hits you so for me 
seeing those points last week, especially with the Kit Kats and um, the chicken, that really hit me. And so I'm feeling very like excited, very ready to like face the week. Um, I'm excited to see how the rest of this little, not this little, the rest of this fitness journey will go. Um, and to see how I can incorporate different foods and get creative because as you all know, I do love to cook and um, I'm not afraid to try new recipes or to invent new ways to use things. Um, you can throw a fridge or a cabinet in front of me and I can make something out of it, but I'm really excited to try out all these different recipes and food combinations that I'm gonna be doing now that I am doing Weight Watchers Freestyle. So stay tuned for more information, more um, stories along the journey of that, not specifically Weight Watchers, not specifically Panacea Fit, but kind of the combination of these two things together in changing Janine and changing myself to be the person that I aspire to be. So that's all for today. Um, I will connect with you in the future about how everything is going.